You are worker. The old world might be gone, but many of its technological wonders persist, and to keep them going, those towns that can still support industry work double hard. Many people, be they refugees from the old cities or poor folks from across the world, come to these places in hopes of steady work, they'll find it, more often than not, but that labor is frequently backbreaking and the compensation paltry. Compared to that, who wouldn't want to take to the skies? Worker, is a class that has a superpower none of the other playbooks have, being responsible, they also have the most hilarious stat line of all playbooks, workers are basically the adult in a cast of youths, having already achieved many of the markers of adulthood that the other pilots are still pursuing, they don't fly for adventure or self-discovery, instead they have responsibility for those dependent on them. Rather than being good at flying, workers instead are supremely good at managing stress, both theirs and others, and being mentor to other pilots, because after dealing with a thing called having a job, nothing can phase them anymore. Also, you start with three stresses, have fun. At this point, you probably have realized that most of the playbooks feature characters who are typically young adults with nothing to ground them, the workers contrast this, they are already adults with adult responsibilities, and what everyone else does for fun and self-discovery, they do because they need the money, pure and simple. At one time, they were more like other characters, before the responsibilities of life under capitalism suppressed their individual and cultural identity. A potent journey for such a character is to cite origins in the same playbook as another player character, which allows the worker a chance to reconnect with an old identity, or they could just be suffering a midlife crisis. Ultimately, the worker is often not that much older than the other pilots, merely forced to be a great deal more mature. To put it shortly, a worker could be team dad, or they could be literal dad, and of course the book immediately suggests the third assumption. For a worker's central moves, their core move is breadwinner, instead of personal upkeep, you have two dependents, write their names, and mark one on one and two on the other. Each routine, during expense, choose to pay zero, one, or two thalers for each dependent, if you pay zero, erase one mark, if you pay two, mark their track and describe what special thing you do for them to make their lives easier. A dependent at two marks removes one stress per routine, a dependent losing a mark gives one stress, and at zero marks they cause two stress per routine. The worker isn't in it just for themselves after all, they have people counting on them, and this also conveniently makes worker very good at earning experience and clearing stress, but don't get too happy too quickly, because you will need to negotiate with the rest of the team for the money, creating tension with the impulsive idiots who don't have anything to lose. A worker's intimacy move is share the burdens, in which when you are intimate with comrades, the stress of all characters participating can be freely distributed between them. If there are any NPC participants, one stress is also removed from each player character, if you use this move in air, one additional stress is removed from each character. Like I have said, worker is very good at stress management, and with this move, you can really keep fellow PC stress level down by sharing it around. Obviously, the final result of the redistribution must be agreed by all parties or else it won't work, this is also not removing stress, merely redistributing it, so you are not gaining EXP aside for stress lost from using this move in air or because of NPC. Anyway, let's move on to the worker's personal moves, and this is where things get a little different. A worker starts with three of the following worker's moves, but also includes three of the following choices, either two more worker's moves, one student's move, or two personal moves from other playbooks, as workers are after all, just a little older than characters of other playbooks. However, EXP costs for worker are doubled, on everything, this is what I meant by don't get too happy too quickly earlier, in move exchange, it costs more for them to learn new moves but not for others, and since worker moves will lead to a much less dysfunctional team, it is in the interest of the worker to be a mentor through move exchanges. Anyway, first on the list is there for you, when you get real, your target always loses one extra stress. Get real, is probably the most powerful calm based move around, while high hard lets you shoot down target easily, with get real, a high calm character can destroy a near max out stress bar like nothing else. Get real is also a move that starts off move exchange, and since three of the workers stat blocks have decent to supreme calm, there's no reason as to why you don't just use this in every routine. Besides, it's also hilarious if you fail, so even more reasons to do it. Get it done, each routine, hold three, spend that hold to score a partial hit on any roll, without rolling first. This can be applied to any 2d10 and d20 move with potential partial results, so for any rolls that have binary yes or no result, 
you can't use it. Since you don't actually roll dice, you can't spend speed to improve them or take bonuses, holds also do not carry over between routines, and they refresh during introspection. But basically, if you want a roll to pass no matter what, this will do the job. Time out, when you intervene in a dispute, roll plus calm. On a hit, the conflict cannot escalate to violence, 16 plus, everyone names a compromise they would be willing to make. In this case, cannot escalate to violence means things are constrained, no raised gun, no punches, no raised voices until things are settled in a reasonable manner. Hard drinking, you may reroll two dice in the end of night roll, probably the most powerful move around because this means that the worker won't suffer hangover as much as other playbooks. Old reliable, after three routines in the same plane, without it being modified or upgraded, the plane gains plus eight toughness and plus three reliability. This is once per plane, and the bonus is removed if the plane is modified. It is exactly what it said, your plane is now tougher and more reliable, and considering engine reliability is often the limiting factor as to how hard you can push your plane, this is very helpful. And just to make it clear, you need to fly the plane in each routine, it doesn't need to be consecutive though, but, applying the farmer move you came in that thing will not count as a modification, so that's one route to push your plane to its limit. No drama, the first time each routine that somebody vents with you as the victim, instead of stress you take 2 XP directly. Basically, the worker has been there before, and understands why people lash out, they can deal with it in a calm and rational manner, and since it's also one of the consequence for failing get real potentially, it's always get real o'clock. Open mind, when you perform a move exchange, both sides can learn as many moves as they have XP for from one another, instead of just one. Other playbook moves cost one less XP to learn, and this character can teach any move they've learned. So, first thing, Unfortunately this applies after and not before the double EXP cost the worker suffers, the EXP reduction also only applies when player characters with this move learn from others and not the other way around. They also can only teach moves they have learned already, including extra moves you get from other playbooks, but only those you have learned. And finally, domestic bliss, while you have zero stress, take plus one ongoing to all roles outside of air combat. This is very specific by the way, you get plus one ongoing to all air rolls performed outside of combat, you also get plus one to all rolls on ground, even in direct combat, good thing combat on ground is only limited to standard gunfire or brawl so it won't immediately become the best move ever. Why am I hearing Eurobeat? With the worker's personal moves done, let's move on to the planes, and since worker is all about trying to not get killed so they could get paid for their family, it's no wonder planes for workers are all reliable workhorse. This includes a used Feller Cannon and Cobra MB, low velocity auto cannon packing anti big target plane, a used Kreutzer Scorpion, a 20 speed rotary scout that might be a bit hard on the turn, a used Koenig Werke Adler N, one of the more affordable energy fighter that's well worth its price, and a used Mark Griff Volksfestung A, a truly heavy bomber for when you want to absolutely demolish a target or grid square. You can also just buy any plane worth up to 15 Thaler, used or brand new. And that's all on the worker, family man, and woman who just want to stay alive and pay for those dependent on them, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.